Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and today we are going to chat about scrappy projects. This is our scrappy Sunday chat for September. I have a pile of scrappy projects here to share with y'all. If you are new to the channel, you may be saying, what is scrappy Sunday? So scrappy Sunday is the day that I like to sit aside to know that I'm going to work on my scrappy projects for a little bit. Otherwise, they honestly just tend to get pushed to the back burner and then I'm always wishing that I had set aside some time to work on them. So insert scrappy Sunday, I started doing that to really give them some love because they need love and attention. And for me, my pile of scrappy projects just keeps growing. I actually have a new cast on to share with you today that I just started this past Sunday. So we can go ahead and jump right in. Oh, I should let you know, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. There will be links to project pages for everything that I talk about. So if you want more details or information, check out those project pages um, on Ravelry that are linked down below. If there's still something you have a question about, feel free to message me. Um, but I try to put everything in the project pages for y'all. All right, first up, my cozy memories blanket. It is in my bag from the Fat Squirrel. This is just such a huge, amazing bag for a blanket. I have so much scrap yarn in here. And I know I've added at least eight new squares because I started putting a progress keeper on them. Otherwise I forget what's new and what I've added. So I've added at least eight, but I feel like maybe a couple of the others were added since the last time as well, but I could be wrong. So here it is so far. So I am working out, I'll show you the squares I've added in just a moment, but I'm working out from these four squares right there. That's my center point right there. I've had a lot of people ask if I could do a tutorial on um, how I do the cozy memories and I follow the coziest memory pattern by Kemper Ray. I've never done a YouTube tutorial for it. I just kind of feel like I don't know it's not really my pattern so I would feel kind of strange doing a tutorial on it I did chat a bit about like these four initial squares in a mug rug video that I did because I did this for a mug rug just four squares and then it's actually okay I said that wrong it's not a mug rug tutorial but I show the mug rug in an i-cord tutorial I will link it down below Whew, that got a little off track there um Yes, I show or I talk a bit about doing those four squares, but basically I just do like say this is your first square. So I cast on the stitches just like the pattern says, knit this first mitered square. Then I come over here and you can pick up stitches along one side. I think actually you need to cast on, then pick up stitches, then knit your mitered square that way. Then you come down here same thing, you're picking up on this side, but you're casting on on this side, knitting this square. And then over here, you can pick up here, pick up here, knit this square so that they have a center point and everything is radiating out. And then you're just going around those four and doing your squares. So that's what I have done. And I need to square off at this point right here, and then it'll be a square again. And then what I do, once I make one round, like a round where it's squared off, I will then come to this inside line on the bottom of the last round and weave in the ends that are right there. And then I leave these ones hanging on the very outside until they are covered with the next round. Okay, so the squares that I added, I don't remember what all the yarn is. <laughs> but I will show you them. I marked them with the progress keepers and I'm gonna to try to do that going forward because otherwise I forget. So I know that this is Knit Picks. I don't remember what colorway it's Knit Picks Felici. This is Malabrigo Sock. And I don't remember the colorway name, but it's what I used for the Secret Garden design, sock design. This is probably Regia or something like that. Opal made a pair of socks for Eric with that. Let's see. That is some Desert Vista Dye Works. I can't, oh, that's actually, I think it's that's the Donuts colorway. This was just some leftover black that I used for heels, I think, for a pair of socks for that I just did for Eric. 
This is Lizzie Ann Yarns. I don't remember what the colorway is, but I think this is what I used for the morning walk socks. Oh, I wish I could remember. I don't remember. This is, get those ends off of there. That is Little Tailoress in the, I think it was Wanna Cook colorway. She sent me a skein of this. She dyed it and sent it to me when I was watching Breaking Bad for the first time and I had talked about it on a podcast. Um, and she really liked Breaking Bad as well. So she dyed that up and sent that to me. And then this is some, I don't know, it might be Reggie or Opal again. Definitely one of the more rustic type yarns like that, that I did a pair of socks for Eric. So those are the eight that I know I've done. Like I said, a couple of these may have been done as well since the last, but I can't remember. So I'm going to try going forward to always put a little marker on there so that I can tell you guys about the squares that I've added. I will not always remember the yarns because some have been, these are all from projects that I've made all of them, mostly socks. <laughs> I think every single one, yeah, every single one I showed you was socks. So I'm gonna take those progress keepers out before I put that away for the day. And then I will start putting marker on the ones that I, I do from here until the next Scrappy Sunday chat, which there may not be one in October. We'll see how the month goes, but we are moving next month. If you, um, I guess maybe some of you don't watch the regular podcast or something and you're not aware, we are getting ready to move to Ohio to be able to live closer to our family. And so next month is gonna be super crazy. <laughs> this month's already crazy, but I at least had time to sit down and do Scrappy Sunday chats this month. But next month, I don't know if there will be one. We will see, if not, I will, See y'all in September for Scrappy Sunday chat, but I'm gonna try for next month. I will ha have my recording stuff with me as we are moving because I'm going to try to vlog what I can. Um, so we'll see, maybe I'll have time to sit down and chat with y'all. I probably won't have all my projects though now that I think about it, because they'll be packed. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, next two projects are in this bag from Mountain State Stitches and they are outgrowing this bag. Jenny probably is not watching this because she just had her baby, but Jenny, I need a bigger bag. I, I need a very large bag. <laughs> um, these are my crochet granny stripe blankets. I have two of them. I have followed the same tutorial for both, and that tutorial is linked in the project pages, so you can find out there. I believe I cast on 300 stitches. It is in the project pages, <laughs> the, the correct, count if 300 is wrong, but I think it was 300. I'll show you my hook that I use in just a moment, but here is, actually, let's show this one first. This is the first crochet granny stripe that I started. It is all, all lighter colors, very big. That is where I was this Scrappy Sunday Progress Keeper is where I was last episode. So I think I've done two, two to three minis since the last time I showed this. So not a ton on these. This one didn't have a ton either. I guess that's kind of what you have happen when you have so many scrappy projects. One day, it's just, not enough if you wanna give everybody a little bit of love. And I always try to do that. So this is the second one. That's where I was last time where that progress keeper is. So two minis in this one as well. This is, if it does not go into the other crochet granny stripe, it goes into this. This is the catch all here. I'm doing it the same exact way. And I'm very, very slowly working through my basket of minis that I have. <laughs> I'm just going through and grabbing a couple of handfuls and I stick them, right now they're stuck in the pockets in the bag here, but I just stick them down in this bag and then I grab one and whatever blanket it goes into, that's what it goes into. I don't know that I've touched this. This is a scrappy shawl that I showed last episode. Yeah. 
don't know that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and show it. I don't remember if I moved the progress keeper last time. Don't remember, but I'll go ahead and show it. So this is just a pattern that I'm playing around with, something I came up with on my own, working from this corner down to there. That's where I'm at right now. And that's where the progress keeper is. But like I said, I don't remember if I moved that last time. So if you watched the last one, y'all re might remember, but that's where it is right now. And the yarn that I'm using is just some more minis that I had in my stash. I made a huge magic knot cake. And I do have a tutorial for how I do the magic knot and I will have that linked down below. And then I'm holding it double with Knit Picks Stroll Fingering in white. Um, the needles, oh my gosh, I did not show you guys my crochet hook. Fail. Okay, my crochet hook that I'm using for my crochet granny stripe blankets is a Tulip Atimo 2.5 millimeter. These are my absolute favorite crochet hooks. All right. The needles that I'm using for this shawl are my Knitter's Pride Zings, US 8, five millimeter. It's the interchangeable set. All right, two more, that's all I've got. That is all I have to show. All right, I'm gonna save that for last. I'm gonna save the new cast on for last. <laughs> I actually have a half finished scrappy project. So I finished this crazy looking sock for Eric. And these, I have this just in a basket, just a white basket. And these are yarns that have already been put into my cozy memory. So then they go into here to do scrappy socks with some of them so i just did this it's kind of like a wild collar block sock is what i think of when i look at it because there are such big blocks of the collars i just kind of went with it and wanted to use up more of the yarns than just like tiny or more of like this yarn and that yarn and that yarn than just doing like five row stripes or something so i just kind of went with it i did 64 stitches us1 2.25 millimeter did a um, knit two, purl two for the cuff, slip stitch, heel flap, and gusset, rounded toe. The instructions for this sock um, can be found in the Vanilla Socks on DPNs pattern that I have here on YouTube. And then there is a written pattern for it as well. I have the second one started, but I mean, it's just like super, super small at this point. These are my Knitter's Pride Zing DPNs. And I think that's it for that. All right, that's it for the socks, I think. So first one done, excited about that. Excited that the second one is cast on. And I was looking through this yarn when I was getting ready to start the new cast on. And I think I'm gonna do a pair of socks for myself with these two, a pair of shorty socks. I'm gonna weigh them and see how much total I have, but I am i don't know how I'm gonna do them. Might be like collar block crazy socks like this, but we'll see how much I have left and what I think I could do, but they're definitely gonna be shorty socks for me. So I will probably, once Eric's socks are done, I will start those for me. I would kind of like to always have a pair of scrappy socks going out of yarns that have already been put into my cozy memories. So my new cast on is very small still. It's not very big at all. This is it. So I talked last Scrappy Sunday chat about wanting a blanket pattern to use up even more of the scraps out of here because I feel like I have such like they're big big leftovers still from socks. Um, and I love doing scrappy socks and I'm still gonna continue, like I said, to try to always have a pair going out of yarn from this. But then I'm still having 
just so much yarn left and I wanted a blanket to use up some of that yarn and I didn't want something that like the cozy memories only uses a certain amount I wanted something that I could just start and end like just keep going and keep going until I completely use up a ball of yarn so this is the yarn I'm using for this right now I believe this is dragon horde yarn I don't remember the colorway name though tarot maybe but I might be wrong I'm pretty sure I did a pair of socks with this but I just started a tiny little blanket and I'm just increasing kind of loosely following the grandma's favorite dishcloth, no holes version, pretty loosely following that. And I'm doing the edges a bit different so that it makes a neater edge so that when the blanket is done, which obviously will be a while, when the blanket is done, I want to using scraps, go around the whole blanket with scraps and do an I-cord border. That's the plan. So I'm having fun with this. Like it's super small, haven't done very much obviously, but I enjoyed this little bit. And now that it's out, I kind of want to work on it today. Maybe I will. The needles that I'm using are Signature Needle Arts. These are an interchangeable set. US six, four millimeter. And I'm just gonna work this entire ball right here into this. I kind of, so I kind of wanna start another scrappy blanket, which is totally crazy. But I'm thinking what I don't use for a pair of socks, I will put into this. So if it comes from the Cozy Memories, I put way too much thought into this probably. Way too much thought. After it's in the Cozy Memories, it comes to this basket to live. If I'm not gonna put it in socks, I will knit it into this blanket. If it goes into socks, obviously it'll be socks, but then I'm still gonna have some left. I know I will because like I still have this much of the green left and I have the cuff and toe to do on this blanket, this blanket, this sock. And I know I'm gonna have yarn left after I do those. So Amy of a Noble Character Crafts has been doing a crochet hexi, I think that's what it's called, crochet hexi blanket. And she just put out a tutorial for how she does the blanket, how she attaches as she goes. Um, I'm gonna use the yarn for that blanket that is left over from Scrappy Socks. Way too much thought into these. Y'all may think I'm crazy, but if you love scrappy things as much as I do, you might put that much thought into yours as well. I don't know. I mean, I do love the mindfulness of scrappy knitting, but I do, I don't think about what colors go next to each other or anything like that. So for that, it is completely mindless, but I put a lot of thought into how can I use all that yarn? Because there's so much left, even after I finish a pair of socks, I still have so much yarn left and I want to use up all of the yarn. I don't want to have any left. So I put a lot of thought into using it in this project and then putting the rest into that and all that kind of stuff. But all right, that is it for today. That's all of the scrappy talk that I have. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, that you're feeling inspired to maybe work on your scrappy projects or start a new scrappy project, or maybe your very first scrappy project. If you are on Instagram and you are posting about those and it happens to be Sunday, Make sure to use the hashtag Scrappy Sunday so that I can see what you're working on. All right, I will see you all again soon. Until then, happy knitting and crocheting. Bye.